Hey everyone, let's talk about Tales from the Kingdoms by Sarah Pinborough. This is a series of fairy tale retellings and let's start with the reading order because the first book I read was Beauty. It's a retelling of Sleeping Beauty. Then I read Poison, a retelling of Snow White and lastly Charm, a retelling of Cinderella. For me this order makes the most sense because in Beauty we meet a prince who's very spoiled and his parents think he needs an adventure before he can become king. So they send him out to explore this strange kingdom where there's a castle and no one knows what's happened there. So because he's spoiled he cannot go alone so he gets a companion, a huntsman. And the two of them set out to find out what happened in this foreign kingdom. And then Sleeping Beauty happens. And after that in Poison we meet the prince and the huntsman again and they are combined and interlaced with the story of Snow White just as they continue on in Charmed and there the story of the prince and the huntsman ends. At least there is an ending sort of. So all three books are combined by the prince and the huntsman and the fairy tales. But apparently the author wants you to start with Poison, then read Charm and lastly Beauty. But for me that really doesn't make any sense. But it does explain the weird references to before that we get a lot in Poison, which I was like, what, what is happening there? I know what happened before. Why do you keep mysteriously referencing what happened before? And also the writing in Poison is less good. I don't really know why because the writing in Beauty and Charm is much better. So these are my thoughts on the reading order. As I said, the stories are connected by the Prince and the Huntsman, but that's not all that's connecting them. We are not only concentrating on Sleeping Beauty in Beauty, we also have other fairy tales happening at the same time. And I really like this about the series, how it combines the many fairy tales into one story. It focuses on one part of it, but you have other fairy tale characters coming in and out. And that was really well done and very enjoyable because it gives the fairy tale retellings a nice twist. I also like the writing overall. Despite Poison having some quirks there, the writing in general flows very well. You get into the book very easily, you get into the story, you really get to know the characters, they make sense and everything and you just fly through it. These books read really really fast for me. Apart from that I also like how the author addresses certain topics. For example there's a double standard that we have when it comes to expectations of sex before marriage. I should mention that there are explicit sex scenes in these books so they're not really Disney-like fairy tale retelling. So when it comes to sex we expect the prince to have experience but it's not allowed for the princesses and I like how the book addresses this topic and how it deals with with that and also how the books address the role of a woman and the choices and the positions the women can have and how it plays with the stereotypes and the power dynamics in a man's world and how a woman who tries to make the man's world's dynamics work for her and tries to play after the rules really doesn't succeed whereas the women who really ignore the rules are much more successful and I really like that. And I also really liked how the author addressed the topic of beauty and how she dealt with it and how she kept discussing it or really working with it with what it means for the people who are beautiful and who are not beautiful and what it means for falling in love because it's fairy tales, it's all about true love. And I really liked how she combined all of that and turned it into a very captivating, interesting, sometimes shocking and surprising story. And I especially like the outcome. I was very happy with the outcome. I did not see that coming in total and I really liked it. You know me, I like happy endings and especially for fairy tales. So these are my thoughts, a little bit rambly and all over the place, but have you read the series? What do you think about the reading order? What do you think about the topics she addresses? Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Did you not like it? Let's talk about the fairy tale retellings of the Tales of the Kingdoms. Thank you for watching and bye bye!